In this video, we will look at solving equations with exponents, where we must first isolate the exponent in order to solve. It is important to remember that before we can clear an exponent, it must first be alone. So, for example, if we were considering this problem, we would need to get the part with the exponent alone before we could get rid of the exponent. We cannot subtract 4 minus 2 because the 2 has a parenthesis with it and the 4 does not. They are not like terms. To get rid of the 4, we must subtract 4 from both sides. This gives us negative 2 times the 2x plus 1 squared equals negative 50. Still working to get the part with the exponent alone, we must get rid of the negative 2. We cannot distribute the negative 2 because order of operations would require the exponent be done before the negative 2 is multiplied. So to get rid of the negative 2 another way, we must divide both sides by negative 2. We're left with 2x plus 1 squared equals positive 25. Now that the squared is alone, we can take the square root of both sides to clear the exponent. We recall that when we clear an even exponent, we end up with two solutions. The square root of 25 could either be positive or negative 5. We can then continue solving this problem by subtracting 1 to get 2x equals negative 1 plus or minus 5, and then dividing by 2. x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus 5, over 2. We can then find x by considering our two possibilities, one from the plus and one from the minus. Negative 1 plus 5 is 4 over 2, and negative 1 minus 5 is negative 6 over 2. Both those fractions reduce to give us our solutions 2 and negative 3 to this equation. Let's try another example where we have to isolate the part with the exponent before we can get rid of the exponent. Again, in this problem, to get the part with the exponent alone, we'll start by subtracting 6 from both sides. 5 times the 3x minus 2 squared equals 40. Dividing both sides by 5 to get the exponent part alone, leaves us with 3x minus 2 squared equals 8. We can now get rid of the square by taking the square root of both sides. We're left with 3x minus 2 equals... And you might notice that we cannot take the square root of 8 evenly. However, if we found the prime factorization of 8, it is 2 cubed. This means we can take a 2 out and leave a 2 behind, so we get 2 root 2. Also, don't forget, from the square root, it could be either positive or negative 2 root 2. Notice, sometimes we might get an answer where we have to simplify our radical, rather than getting a simple answer. We can continue solving by adding 2 to both sides, giving us 3x equals 2 plus or minus 2 root 2, and then finally get our solution by dividing both sides by 3. We get x equals 2 plus or minus 2 root 2 over 3. Normally, from here, we would consider our two options, one where we add and one where we subtract those numbers in the numerator. However, we cannot add 2 plus 2 root 2, or subtract 2 minus 2 root 2, because they are not like radicals. One has a radical, one does not, and so they cannot be combined. In the case where they cannot be combined, we will stop here and say this is our final solution. x equals 2, plus or minus 2 root 2, over 3. When we're solving with exponents, we must get the part with the exponent alone first, and then clear with a root. Remember, even roots have two solutions.